How's the hair? Awful? Yeah, pretty bad. I was um, unfortunate enough to accidentally turn over the television and saw some F1 racing on, and I don't like car racing. But what caught my eye and made me sad is these designers, these engineers, these artists dedicate their life to creating these cars only for them to be covered in corporate sponsors. Esso or Rizzler or fucking McDonald's. Why is McDonald's on sport events sponsoring? I don't know. Unfortunately, the, the, the society we live in where consumerism rules and businesses command everything. I mean, just imagine if football shirts, uh, soccer, um, were covered in sponsors as much as Formula One is or other racing events. So I'm digressing into some weird political rant. These things have too many sponsorships on. I thought, wouldn't it be fucking hilarious if um, you saw Star Wars and the Atats were marching along to attack and they had all these weird sponsors all over them. The Chicken Walkers or, or the Millennium Falcon or the X-Wings had sponsors all over them. That probably is a project that will get done. I'm going to do BB-8 because I haven't painted BB-8 and he's new and I want to paint BB-8 so badly. Quite a cool idea to have BB-8 covered in sponsors. So that is the plan for this painting is to paint... BB-8 as sponsored by corporate machines. Okay, political rant over. Let's get on with the fun. coats are done now it's onto the logos as you can see for the logos i literally just that's when i say talk talk i've just doodled or fedex i've just doodled i've not done it that well and that's ibm the coca-cola one's a bit of a mess but i still want to keep this rough angle this position so what i'm going to do instead of painting say let's go for coca-cola paint the background white then trying to fill it in what i'm going to do is do this over in paint pen one of these and hopefully, because I'll be using a pen, I should be able to control it better. I might test it on the Netflix one, because that's quite an easy logo to write. But let's see. Base coats are done, um, and it takes ages because each, you know, each logo is is a slightly different shade of blue, a slightly different shade of red. What I'm definitely going to do is the secondary light grey here. You see here, this is going to be light, and I'll add a lot more white to the uh, grey and give it a second coat and define it all. Once that's all defined, I will then go back in with probably paint pens, really outline all the all the uh, brand logos, just make them look like the stickers, give them some sort of pop art, comic book shading. Uh, and then probably drawing out the, uh, the the screws, panels of the metal around BB-8. So there we go, it's, it's coming on well. I think it's quite funny, um, and he's round, which was one of my concerns, is making him look like he's curved. Uh, the logo's look all good. Uh, I've got to do the Starbucks one, I haven't done much of that one. Let's get on with giving BB-8 another coat of... 
greys and the whites and blah, 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 blah. BBA as sponsored by I am happy. It came out really well. The concept I thought worked really well. The sponsorships all worked well, even though it's an absolute fucking pain to paint each one of them. Just fiddly, nightmarish. It's like us painting Warhammer figures again. The composition, the colour, the balance. I love the white background. I think it really contrasts well. And I loved it. So um, there's not too much to say about it because I've spoken so much in this video. I'm very happy with it and it was a great fun one to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think of the painting and the concept and the idea. And if you think I could expand it in any way or change it or you know let me know your thoughts give us a like so please subscribe to my channel um, that will give you a nice warm fuzzy feeling inside thank you for watching from me and mr bb8 and all our sponsors thank you and i shall see you next week bye bye